hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to apply sum or the average of the current list views record and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use optional attribute in the field level please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will also get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so here let's say i'm going to student right i want to provide here the what is the sum of this total rows right or let's say what is the average of this final fees right how can i do that part so it is very easy so let's go to here in the custom add-ons students views in the student views and this is our uh, list view right for the student here the student fees we can use here sum as attribute in a double quote we can use here total fees right and simple we have to upgrade the module so for that i'm going to the pycharm editor guys if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained everything once i will refresh the screen and now you can see here total 50025.60 cents right so it will automatically calculate the sum of this column right now let's say how we can also implement the average right so for that we can do here average and let's say average of final fees and here we can also implement the sum total discount right and now upgrade the module let me refresh the screen and now you can see total zero discount is available here here you can see the average is 4615.45 right so like this way you can implement in the list view by the way this feature is also available here in the existing sales order you can see here if your field is monetary field right so you will also get here the currency symbol right and the total amount you can see here if you go to here in the invoicing right so invoicing you can see here so like this way you can set total sum or the average in the list view guys if you still have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session